hey tech fans welcome to our channel so are you tired of dealing with horrible viruses and malware on your device well today you're in luck so today we are going to show you how to remove viruses and malware and keep your device safe and secure now are you ready to just get rid of all this terrible malware Buckle up and let's get started. Low type of security and low time. What are viruses and malware? So viruses and malware is simply a type of malicious software that can harm your device and steal your personal data. Uh, viruses can cause chaos, while malware can lead to identity theft, financial loss, and more. So, how do you know if your device has a virus or malware? So now what you can do, you can look uh, for these common symptoms like slow performance, even though you have a, uh, a high-performing laptop, you see that, you know, uh, the laptop is getting slower and slower even though you have a solid state drive and you see a bunch of pop-ups you see error messages and more if you notice any of this it's time to take an action now let's get to the good stuff to show you how to remove viruses and malware so step, step number one we always tell people make sure that you back up your data so you know uh, like you can use OneDrive or Google Drive so in case something happened that you don't have to lose everything step number two make sure that you know your operating system is up to date and number three make sure that you have an anti-virus protection but you probably already have all, all of this and probably you're watching this video because you get the malware so the first thing that you're gonna do uh, we can go to Google right here and you can type eat men all right can I go to their website right here and then you can come here because it men as you can see here this is an advanced malware scanning and removal we'll tool what you're gonna do you see that they have a free 30 uh, 30 day trials we can buy it but you know there is no credit card you can just go ahead and click on the free install and then you can just go ahead and download it man for you know you can just choose which one you know mine is a 64 bit i can go ahead and just download it and then once the download is complete you can just go ahead and, and run it so we let's just do that now i'm going to just run it And then once uh, the download is complete, you cannot see this is a very straightforward. Click next and next. You can just uh, choose your preference right here. You can create, you know, uh, uh, like kind of shortcut. You know, you can just leave it to the default or whatever. You know, I'm going to click next. I don't want them to send me email. Click next. And this is gonna scan your computer. So it's gonna scan your computer. You know, and it may take a while. And then it will automatically detect that malware for you. So we are not going uh, that uh, that far. You know, I'm not going to waste your time because this is gonna be. You're gonna see if you have the malware or any Trojan, it's gonna detect it, and you're gonna just take action. And then after you run it, man, the second thing that you can do, you can go ahead and just install a malware byte. Okay, you go to Google, search for malware byte, and then. Uh, just go make sure that you're on the right room uh, sorry the right website you click on it and then you download malware by it malware by it is you know you can pay for it or you can just use it for free malware by it again is very self-explanatory you can just go there and scan it and this will automatically detect any children any malware for you you can go ahead and click on the uh, free download but there's one thing that you have to keep in mind if you already have another you know, antivirus protection, you may need to remove it before you put malware by it because sometimes two antiviruses at the same time on your PC may break your PC. 
and then when your skin, once your skin is complete and then you are satisfied, you remove all the malwares, we have to just, you know, uh, make sure that this will never happen again in the future. To do so, you can open a new tab and then go to the uh, Chrome store. Or you can just, if you are using Firefox, you can go to the uh, extension and go to the store. I want you to install those two extensions. The first one is Malwarebyte. So this extension, what it does, if you are going, if you had to go to your own website, like, you know, my issues website, there's a big chance it's going to block it. So, and you're going to block a lot of ads and uh, uh, potential unwanted program. They call it P, uh, PUPs. So this can just take care of it. And then the second thing that you're going to do, you're going to search for uBlock Origin, this one. And then you're going to install that, that as well. You can go ahead and read the description and go from there. So uh, that's it. That's it. You know, now you have removed the malware. So you make sure that you have extra protection. You know, if you want, you know, make sure that, you know, uh, everything is up to date now. If you remove the malware, you know, go ahead, you know, uh, follow this principle with those two extensions. So uh, you, this will not happen again in the future. And then uh, uh, make sure that you always back up your data, you know, so you don't lose your pictures, videos, and family things. You know, sometimes we are going to the web, you know, we see a website that look, looks legit, but it is not. So that's why after you, you use it meant to remove the entire uh, the virus, the viruses on your uh, computer, I really recommended you to use malware by the, the browser guard that gonna just keep you, uh, you know, from, from having malware again in the future. And then uh, that's it. You know, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please let us know into the comment section. And if you know you're probably watching this video, but this is too uh, it is too late because you already lost all your data. You probably got a ransomware. You can just go ahead and just you know uh, if you don't have any data that are critical, you can always reset your uh, laptop and go from there. You, if you found this video useful, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share to stay up to date with the latest cybersecurity tools and trends. Until next time, stay secure.